This is The Morning Five. I'm your host, Melissa Ware, this week's guest host, giving you five minutes of news and scripture Mondays through Thursdays. Today is Monday, October 7th, 2024. Let's open with scripture. I'm going to read from Ephesians 6. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Pray also for me that whenever I speak, words may be given me that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. May God bless the reading of his word. Good morning. I'm your guest host, Melissa Ware, filling in for Michael Ware today. I just want to congratulate the team at the Center for Christianity and Public Life, that's Michael and Phoebe, because today is the first day of the For the Good of the Public Summit in Washington, D.C. I've seen Michael and Phoebe and their team putting their hearts and their souls into the summit over the last year, and I'm so proud of them. If you're here, I'm, I am too, so come and say hi. If you're on social media, please share the content that they're putting out. Um, you can follow them at their social media handle, which is CC Public Life. I know that they would appreciate that support. And please, if you can, would you mind saying a prayer for CCPL and the team and the summit that God may be glorified here in Washington over the next two days? Let's move on to the news. Today is October 7th, so that means one year ago, Hamas led an attack on Israel which led to hundreds of hostages and retaliation from Israel in Gaza. In the last year, it is reported by Gaza's health ministry that over 42,000 Palestinians have died with at least 97,000 injured. In Israel, 1,139 people have died with 8,730 injured. We've been following the humanitarian crisis this past year, the politics of it all, and the recent war and escalation between Israel and Hezbollah and subsequently Iran. Israel intensified its fight on two fronts yesterday, stepping up operations against Hamas in northern Gaza in what it said was preparation for a new phase in the war. In Lebanon, Israeli airstrikes targeted Hezbollah strongholds in southern Beirut shortly after warning residents there to flee. Israel also said over the weekend that it had killed two Hamas officials in Lebanon. The U.S. administration and the entire region is bracing for Israel to also hit back at Iran for its barrage of ballistic missiles, yes, last week. That's a very, very short recap of the last year of a lot of war and a lot of heartbreaking stories. There are many wars, several famines, a lot of natural disasters going on right now, And as Christians who care about conflict and suffering, I think that Psalm 23 is a grounding scripture. Uh, My friend last week was struggling with what's going on over in the Middle East. And so I told her, when I don't know what to do, I pray Psalm 23. Uh, When I think of peace that surpasses all understanding in the midst of human conflict, um, this is where I meditate. So let's do it today on this big anniversary. Let's end today with Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, 
and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. As always, The Morning Five is brought to you in partnership with the That Sounds Fun Network and supported by the Center for Christianity and Public Life. Thanks to CCPL for allowing me to guest host again this week. I will see you tomorrow.